Hey, good morning, and thanks for watching the weekly update this week and coming to you on course because I want to show you a couple things that are going on on the golf course. Uh, but first, let's talk about the schedule this week because it is one of our busiest weeks of the year here at the club. So today is Thursday. If you're watching this, we have OSI in the morning. So we will be open uh, at 3 o'clock this afternoon and then uh, turn it back over to the members at that time. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is the Fall Classic. So how that schedule works, if you're unfamiliar, uh, we have over 100 players from all across Central PA playing in a three-day three event as part of our Harrisburg District Golf Association schedule. So Friday, there still are some tee times available, and you can play. They'll be playing their qualifying round on Friday. Saturday and Sunday morning will be closed for the event. Those 100 players will do a double tee start in the morning. The afternoon will be available and open to you, the membership, to come play. So this is a great weekend to take advantage of uh, one of our reciprocal courses, whether it's in the 24 that are in our local network that you full golf members can go play for 30 bucks, or whether if you're a club court member, you can get on and play for a card fee only. Uh, so let us make those arrangements for you. But again, this Friday, Saturday, Sunday schedule is a little wonky due to our annual fall classic. Okay, other kind of upcoming schedule thing, men's member member. You've got a week left to sign up. So teams are in there. Get your name on the list if you intend to play. Sign up if you do need a partner, let me know. I have a couple of uh, singles looking for that winning combination, but that's coming up that first full weekend in October. So that's kind of what's happening on the golf side. Busy, busy time. Food and beverage side, awesome special this week with the shrimp sliders and the ribs, and then also a couple of good events. People are signing up for the Oktoberfest event, which is on the 10th, and then the November, Super, November Superheroes and Princess Breakfast. It already has 30 to 40 reservations on the list. So. Get your name on the list for those food and beverage events. Come out, use the specials. Remember your prepaid dining program. We would encourage you to use it by October. Again, you can use it in the fall, but uh, with uh, pubs closing up service at the end of October, you want to start thinking about how much do you have left. Let's get in and use it. Okay, on the golf course here. So getting a, a lot of questions about conditions. And, and Jameson, hey, the fairways are pretty wet. What's going on out there? Frankly, we haven't had more than an inch of rain since... Labor Day. So it's been three weeks. We're dry. The course is in beautiful green shape. What's happening? So, of course, we are stressing the irrigation system more than we have in three or four years. Jonathan said since he's been here, which is his sixth season. So I want to show you one situation, which is pretty, you know, a good example of what's happening when you say, oh, man, fairways are wet. Well, first, we think the majority of our membership enjoys healthy green turf than brown dry turf. But two, here's the situation. I'm out here on 17. Okay, we're at the middle of the fairway. There's a sprinkler head. Hopefully you can see this. I'm gonna walk just a little north on the fairway um, and I'm gonna show you some turf conditions. So we are 10 paces out and you see this turf is beginning to check out. So this turf checking out, one, it's a hot spot, but two, we're not getting adequate coverage. And this will be the whole way up and down the left side. Now, what I'm gonna do is walk down the other side of the slope, I'm going back downhill. And you can see this is a coverage issue. So that these sprinklers now, are flooding the water down. So while we're keeping the middle of the fairway awesome, it's in really good condition, this is a spot you'd complain about. You say, Jameson, turn off the water. Why is it so wet? It's just some adequate, inadequate coverage area. So our team is working to get those better. We hope you understand. We're trying to give you the best playing conditions out there, but there's a number of factors. So when you see sprinkler heads on on a 95 degree day and you see a little bit of wet fairways, Please, it's not just that we're overwatering the place. We're trying to keep this in the best condition possible for all year round, knowing that frankly there's no rain in the 10 day and it's gonna be 90 degrees. So we appreciate your understanding. Hopefully this helps understand what, what Jonathan and his team are working through. And hopefully we keep your conditions looking green and beautiful through the end of the year. Thanks for watching. See you at the club. Have a great week.